Hi again, Internet. This is to show you how Van Gogh um, was painting and to show you some colour mixing techniques and show you some techniques of using your paintbrush and applying the uh, colour uh, on the marks that you make with your paintbrush to uh, create the forms and the shapes that um, you want. Okay, so this is the, um, the Van Gogh landscape and this is my starting of the landscape. Um, you can see we're on canvas, I'm using acrylic paint and I've mapped in a basic colour for each of the areas of the painting and tried approximately to get something which matches the colour. So if I put the image in there, th there is some resemblance there, some matching of the colouring going on and we'll use that as, as a basis for our next um, paint and techniques. Okay internet, so this is the base case of um, mapping in the right hand side of this picture. Okay, I'm doing layers, so you might want to think about doing your your painting in layers, okay? Uh, and I'm putting in base layers uh, in this case it's yellow ochre plus um, white and starting to put the layers in over the top and just looking at the right hand side of the, the picture. Now there is a feature of acrylic painting uh, which really is not going to help us which is that um, acrylic dries just one tone darker than you put on the paint and that's interesting because it does mean that when you um, when you've finished what you, you thought you had it might just be a bit too dark so you need to really kind of second guess um, the colouring and just get used to um, estimating what mix um, you're going to need ok now in, you can see that I'm, I'm good paint fairly, um, fairly thick and I'm using the brush marks to form the objects wherever they are so they're trees or in this case it's kind of looks like a field of um, wild grasses or something like that you know and the colour is exaggerated slightly because Van Gogh's known as an expressionist painter so he's trying to put feeling into his pictures rather than just paint exactly what you saw okay obviously if um, if you think you've gone too light or too dark with acrylic you can just go over it you know, just a, a little and um, then of course it goes straight over it but you might need to let it dry uh, and I'm going to think of this as putting on just layers of colour and I'm going to build the picture in that way and obviously it's not as spontaneous as you know as it would have been when Van Gogh was, was doing it however it's still um, quite an expressive painting you still need to think about what you're doing and it's a great way of really finding out what um, what he was doing and how he did it uh, and what what the technique boils down to if you know what I mean and it's not so out of reach as you as you as you might think it is you know you can see that I'm just applying the brush strokes I've got a fairly rough bristle there brush and just marking in where I think everything is okay now obviously the more the more layers you put on the more complex it becomes it is quite a complex um, uh, area of the picture there's not just a few uh, brush strokes there's, 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 there's quite a lot going on there's quite a mixture of different colours and there's kind of a, a light which, which uh, dances right across the, the paint and I think copying uh, one of the masters is a great way to learn how to paint. Okay, and it's not, I don't recommend it all the time, but sometimes it just shows you how to mix colour. I'll show you my uh, palette just now, it's very simple. Okay, so three, three colours yellow, ochre, white, and an orange. Uh, and obviously, the more 
laser we put on we might need to change and add in lots and lots of detail. One of the most interesting things I think with this paint is that the, um, the outlines are in a very very dark blue okay uh, and there are some outlining shapes to to give a structure into this landscape as well as the colour and we'll get to that in a bit. In this area of the painting, there's a lemon yellow added to the mix. I've added white, lemon yellow, and yellow ochre. There is a hint as well of the orange. So it's quite a mix to to get the colours. If you see my my palette, um, there we are: lemon yellow, white, the the orange, the um, yellow ochre. If we don't add white to acrylic, it's not opaque. If it's opaque with uh, white mixed in, it means that you can see through the paint and you have a, a really good mix and you get a real resonance with your color. Um, Okay, bottom half of this picture now is um, really strong uh, crimson base colours. So I'll bring the um, original in, there we are. So the bottom you can see some crimson at the bottom there. But these colours down here, these orange base colours are quite strong and um, I'm going to mix those now. So here's our mix, a really strong red, I think that's perhaps too strong. You can mix in some different um, toning down colours, bit yellow in there. It is quite a ready base colour, it's also orangey base colour, so to make it um, kind of a mix. Okay, so we've, we've mixed them um, some crimson and some um, burnt sienna into, into the mix, some yellow ochre, and these we've done kind of there is just kind of pick those out and mark those. Give the um, picture some kind of structure just so we know where where everything's kind of gonna go.
Okay, it's time for project uh, review running really, and a check on uh, how well we're doing. And it doesn't look too bad, the basis of the colours are there uh, and the approximate shape of where it all is is there. So I'm going to let that dry now and then we're going to move on now to some of the vegetation and the green areas which are just just along the side. The, 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 the top end there, uh, and then we'll put in the, these accurate colours, and then later we'll try the, the clouds. And after that, we'll come back in and put in a, another layer of detail 